What's up guys, Technic here, and I'm super, super excited today because today's all about this guy once again, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, which I'm sure you all know by now is one absolutely incredible device in terms of photography, thanks to that new one inch sensor. But I'm super excited because this is a battery drain test because I mean, you can have the best camera tech in the world on your phone or the best hardware because this thing's packed with great hardware in it and features for that matter. But if its battery doesn't last like we've seen the bad track record from Xiaomi in the past, then what's the point of, of grabbing one of these guys? So we're gonna be putting this guy up in a battery test right now. But before we get to that, speaking of hardware, this is kitted with the latest and greatest from Qualcomm. 30% more power efficient, supposedly, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset. And we're gonna be putting this guy, the 12S Ultra, up against some of the best smartphones that 2022 has to offer in this 100 to 0% battery life drain test. The Galaxy S22 Ultra and OnePlus 10 Pro both have the largest batteries here at 5,000 milliamp hours. Next up, we have the new and improved Xiaomi 12S Ultra with a 4,860 milliamp hour battery, though it is smaller than its predecessor, it's still pretty large. After that, we have the Vivo X80 Pro, which comes in at 4,700 milliamps. Then we have the Xiaomi 12 Pro matching the Honor Magic 4 Pro at 4,600 milliamps. And last and certainly least in terms of battery capacity is the iPhone 13 Pro Max with 4,352 milliamps. But you know, Dynamite does come in small packages. I can assure you guys that all phones have been set to the exact same brightness level thanks to a lux meter. However, if a phone does look a little bit brighter or a little bit dimmer than another, it's not because of the brightness level on each device, but because of my studio lighting. All seven devices have been updated to the latest available software updates. And even though the Samsung does show some cell reception bars at the top of its screen, I can assure you that all phones are SIM free. All devices here are kitted with 120 Hertz LTPO displays. All the Android phones, for that matter, can range between one Hertz and 120 Hertz, whereas the iPhone also has an LTPO display, but it can only go as low as 10 Hertz. The Samsung, Vivo, OnePlus, and Xiaomi all have WQHD plus resolution displays, which is fantastic and super pixel popping, but the Honor and the iPhone are not too far off, and they have very similar resolutions, which sit somewhere between QHD and Full HD. I have kept all apps within this test, within this battery drain test, that is exactly the same as all my previous battery drain tests, so that you can go ahead and compare all the phones in this test to all the phones I've ever tested across all my battery drain tests on my channel. I'm super excited to get this one going, and I really wanna see who's gonna come out on top of the ultimate 2022 battery life drain test. This is Technic, and without further ado, let's go. Before we get things going, we're just making sure that all phones are currently plugged in charge and sitting at 100% at the current point in time. We're gonna be using an infrared heat gun with an emissivity level of 0.5, which is the most accurate for electronic devices. We're sitting around 20 degrees Celsius at room temperature over here in sunny Johannesburg, South Africa, and testing all the temps over here. You can't really compare them since they're all currently plugged in charge, so it's not really draining temps. But right now, the OnePlus is the hottest and the iPhone, of course, is the coolest because it usually is always the coolest, but we'll have to see what happens throughout the drain test. If you are a bit rusty in terms of specs, I am listing all the specs of all devices at the bottom of the screen so that you guys have something to gawk your eyes at. And at the bottom right corner of the screen, I have the current app that we're running through. At the top right, we have the time interval and the percentage of each device is directly linked to that time interval. So as you can see now, 30 minutes, 99% on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, which is getting beat by its little brother, the 12 Pro with a smaller battery. 95% on the S22 Ultra, 99 on the Vivo, 99 on the Honor, 100 on the OnePlus, and 97 on the iPhone. We at that time around, usually the iPhone is doing a bit better over here. So as you can see, once again, updated app, bottom right corner, time interval linked to the temperature. So far the coolest is the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, very weird. Thanks to that new four nanometer run Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset, iPhone was the hottest, but now after the hour mark, we have 93% on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, 2% behind the Xiaomi 12 Pro though, that's super weird. The S22 Ultra is sitting on 91%, 95% on the Vivo, which is almost leading the pack. The one beating it is the OnePlus 10 Pro with 96%, very impressive 
exclusive here. 93% on the Honor Magic 4 Pro, 94% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, pretty much in between the rest of the devices over here. After an hour and 30 minutes, we have 85% on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, 89% on the Vivo, 88 on the Honor, 88 on the OnePlus, 88 on the iPhone. All of them are sitting at 88 right now and things are getting really heated. We're moving into Facebook Live TV right now and I really wanna see what's gonna happen with this test and where it goes, especially with the new Xiaomi 12S Ultra because yes, it has a smaller battery than last year's Mi 11 Ultra, but it does have a bigger battery than the, its little brother over here, the Xiaomi 12 Pro. And right now it's beating it after Facebook Live TV over there. 79% on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra as opposed to 76% on the Xiaomi 12 Pro now. The iPhone's sitting at 84% now, beating the OnePlus at 83%. 82% on the Honor, 83 beating that is the Vivo. 79% on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, matching that of the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, even though they, they have the exact same battery size. Now, just to let you guys know, I would absolutely love to have a whole bunch of new phones here, but I don't. So these are all phones that I've used in my previous videos and I'm just gonna blurt something out right now. My main daily driver is my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I'm not expecting it to perform as well as it has in the past, but it's really interesting to see how it performs pretty much after a year of daily use, daily personal use of myself. Something interesting over here with Instagram, this is a bit of a weird one. The iPhone usually drops by around 3% after running Instagram, but this time it dropped from 81% to 69%, that's 12% of a drop. I'm not sure if it's because it had more video loops on Instagram, that being three as opposed to the one on the other devices, but it didn't happen with YouTube as you'll see right now. So I'm not sure if maybe it's a software issue, maybe an Instagram software update or iOS 15.6 came in and just wasn't really optimized well with Instagram. Maybe this will get fixed. And that kind of explains the overheating issue where the iPhone got the hottest day at 47.6 degrees in Celsius. So we just hit three hours and 31 minutes and the Xiaomi 12S Ultra sitting at 66%, which is now 6% ahead of its little brother, the 12 Pro. It is a percent, 1% ahead of the S22 Ultra. It is 4% behind that of the Vivo X80 Pro. It is 1% behind the Honor Magic 4 Pro with a smaller battery. 71% on the OnePlus, which is 5% ahead of the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, and it is matching the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 66% a piece. And after that last app was sitting on 62% on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is actually super weird. Like I said, the iPhone 13 Pro Max was my daily driver and it has reached over nine hours before. Maybe that's not gonna happen this time around, but let's just wait and see. So now we're on selfie video recording. And as you can see, bottom right hand corner, we're recording at 1080p 30 FPS. Now many phones can do 4K and 60, but a lot of these phones actually can't do either of those. So we stick into 1080p and 30 FPS. And the biggest reason for this, the second reason that is, is the fact that I like to keep all of my battery drain tests exactly the same so that you can compare them across my channel. You can't compare the results of these devices within this battery drain test to other videos from other content creators, but you can compare them to mine because I use the same apps and the same brightness levels all the time. That's not the case with other channels. Same thing can be said with the main video recording, 4K 30 FPS over here. All of them can do 4K 60, but once again, I wanna keep them the same. And getting to that five hour mark interval after using back recording, 44% on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, 12% ahead of its little brother, the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Obviously it does a much better job in terms of video here. 42% on the S22 Ultra. So the Xiaomi is beating it by quite a bit now, by 2%. 47 on the X80 Pro, 37 on the Honor Magic 4 Pro, 51 on the OnePlus 10 Pro, which is leading the pack. This is absolutely mental and 46% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now I am running a couple benchmarks here and every battery drain test that I do, I run exactly one hour of benchmarks. I run three benchmarks, I run Antutu, then I run 3D Mark as a stress test, and then I go to GFX Bench. Now the reason why I do this is not to drain the phones a lot quicker so that I don't have to be here all day and record this really interesting test, but because it simulates high performing games and I don't exactly have the amount of hands to play high performing games on all of these devices. Now an interesting thing here is that the Xiaomi's always, always overheat when it comes to benchmark tests, but the OnePlus is doing something weird. It overheats, the Xiaomi gives you a warning, the OnePlus doesn't give you a warning, it kills the app, kills all background apps and kicks you to the home screen, almost like a soft reset. So it's super weird over there. Nevertheless, we are moving on to our first game here, that bean flip diving. And after six hours and eight minutes, the Xiaomi 12 Pro is done. He says, you know what guys, I know I'm the first out, I do have the smallest battery, well, not as small as the iPhone <laughs> of the test. In terms of the Androids, six hours, eight minutes, is not too bad for the Xiaomi. It's actually better than its previous results from previous flagships. 12.5 milliamp hours per minute drain 
it's still pretty steep. Nevertheless, it ended off at 51.6 degrees in Celsius, which is pretty hot. After six hours and 30 minutes, we do have 9% on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. So it's lagging behind the rest a bit here, but the lowest here is the Honor Magic 4 Pro with 5%, 15% on the S22 Ultra, 13% on the Vivo, 17 on the OnePlus, which is now losing to the iPhone of 20%. The iPhone is coming back and redeeming itself over here. Subway Surfers, six hours and 43 minutes. The Honor Magic 4 Pro decides to clock out. That is still fantastic time. Guys, honestly, five hours is very decent battery screen on time. That's six hours and 42 minutes for the Honor. Um, six hours, over six hours is really good. Over seven hours is amazing. And over eight hours is just outright insane battery life. We just hit seven hours now, which means that the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, Galaxy S22 Ultra, Vivo X80 Pro, OnePlus 10 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max all have great, phenomenal battery life, but it is not insane. Let's see who can reach that insane level of eight hours. Now the Samsung always dims after 5% battery left. I have to bring it up using the Lux meter again, and the screen turns off every 30 seconds, which is so frustrating. Nevertheless, it died after seven hours and 15 minutes. Eh, it's not too bad. I mean, over seven hours is great, remember? Vivo beat it with a smaller battery at 4,700 milliamps as opposed to the Samsung's 5,000 milliamp power battery. It ended off cooler as well and got two minutes longer lasting with a much better milliamp power per minute drain reading. And getting to that seven hour, 26 minute mark, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra knocks out, placing third. Third place is not bad. This is a really, really good step in the right direction for Xiaomi because I'm not sure if you've noticed, but it's little brother, the Xiaomi 12 Pro, as well as predecessor flagship devices from Xiaomi don't really have the best track record when it comes to battery drain sets. So this, this is a good thing. I'm expecting a lot from Xiaomi in the future. And the new Snapdragon chipset seems to be kind of cooler, but a lot more efficient. They say 30% more efficient. Definitely seems that way to me. Seven hours and 53 minutes and the OnePlus is gone. So it plays second to what? The iPhone again, because the last time I did a test with the iPhone and the OnePlus 10 Pro, the iPhone beat the OnePlus. The OnePlus came in second with eight hours and 10 minutes. This time I got seven hours and 53 minutes and the iPhone got seven hours, 59 minutes and 40 seconds. So eight hours, pretty much eight hours on the nose, which is phenomenal battery life. But it has gotten over nine hours of battery life in the past. And it did have the lowest peak temperature, but it got pretty hot at the end there at 50 degrees Celsius. So something weird is happening with the iPhone, but I use it as my daily driver every single day. So that's definitely something to note about the iPhone. So the most amazing thing about it is the fact that yes, it got eight hours. Yes, it's gotten over nine hours in the past, but I've used it for every day, almost a year as my daily driver, and it's still one, which is just Seventh place over here, we have the Xiaomi 12 Pro, six hours and eight minutes, 4,600 milliamp hour battery. Over six hours is still great battery life, and I'm still pretty impressed with this little guy here with its WQHD Plus panel. Sixth place, the Honor Magic 4 Pro. First time I'm testing this guy out in a battery drain test. I must say I'm pretty impressed with six hours and 42 minutes, 4,600 milliamp hour battery as well. Next up, fifth place, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Not the best I've seen from it, but seven hours and 15 minutes is still phenomenal battery life from this guy, and it's massively large screen and wonderful form factor. Fourth place, the Vivo X80 Pro, seven hours and 17 minutes, dethroning the Galaxy S22 Ultra with a smaller 4,700 milliamp hour battery. Color me a tad bit impressed. The Xiaomi 12, S Ultra comes in third place here, seven hours and 26 minutes. Xiaomi is definitely doing something better with battery. I can't wait to see what this means going forward. Second place, the OnePlus 10 Pro, seven hours and 53 minutes. Didn't beat the Xiaomi 12S Ultra by too much, but it did come in second, only second to the iPhone, which has happened before in the past. And the iPhone comes in first place, still the king of battery tests. iPhone 13 Pro Max, a phone that I've used personally every day for the last year, eight hours on the nose, phenomenal battery life, though it has done better in the past. So when it comes to temperature, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra had the lowest end temp. The 12 Pro had the highest end temp. The OnePlus 10 Pro had the highest overall temp and the iPhone 13 Pro Max had the lowest overall temp. The interesting thing here is that the Xiaomi ended at 37.2 degrees in Celsius and the 12 Pro ended in 51.6, but the 12 Pro had a lower peak at 57.9 as opposed to a hotter peak on the 12S Ultra at 60.4 degrees in Celsius, which is dangerously close to the hottest peak here, that being the OnePlus 10 Pro at 64.2 degrees in Celsius, and the coolest over here being the iPhone 13 Pro Max at 47.8 degrees in Celsius. So I'm not too sure that new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset is doing much in terms of temperature. 
Snapdragon 8 Gen chipsets just seem to be very hot. Even the Snapdragon 888 before it was super hot, but it does seem to be more efficient because Xiaomi did place a lot better this time around. That being third place with seven hours and 26 minutes, which is well over an hour ahead of the Xiaomi 12 Pro. And if you take a look at the top left of the screen, it actually beat its predecessor, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra by almost an hour. And that had a bigger battery at 5,000 milliamps. So I'm super impressed with the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. And the OnePlus last time out came in second place, only second to the iPhone. Same thing happened here, but this time the iPhone got eight hours. Last time was nine hours and 47 minutes, just shy of 10 hours, which is absolutely mind blowing. But I did film that test about five, six months ago, and I've used the iPhone 13 Pro Max as my daily driver ever since, and it's still one even though I've used it every single day. So its battery has depleted and charge cycles have gone in full swing and it's still won against the best smartphones in the world in 2022, which is absolutely insane. So if you look right at the bottom of the screen, just above the placements at the bottom of each device's frame, you can see there if they were to all have the same size, 5,000 milliamp power cell. Placements would be pretty similar. iPhone would stay in first, but jump up to nine hours and 12 minutes. This is based on their milliamp hour per minute reading, that being the iPhone with 9.067 milliamp hours per minute drain, which is absolutely fantastic. If you look at the others, highest being the Xiaomi 12 Pro with 12.5 milliamp hours per minute drain. So the Xiaomi 12 Pro, of course, is sitting in seventh. So I just thought I'd give you the two cents over there with if they all had the same size battery, and I would love to see a larger battery on the new iPhone lineup coming up. So stay tuned for that video. And one more thing before I let you guys go, please let me know what you guys think of the new video format for my battery drain test videos. I've changed it up a little bit. Let me know what you think of my face being in the video so much. This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.